Okay, today we will be learning about movement of substances. First subtopic will be diffusion. So let's take a look at the definition of diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of substances from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration down concentration gradient. Okay, so the definition here, you can break it down into three smaller parts. First, you break it down into movement of substances. Number two, you talk about uh, the region from where to where. Okay, region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. Then the last one is the concentration gradient, down concentration gradient. So remember these three points, it will help you in your definition. Okay, diffusion occurs very fast in the air and uh, slightly slower in liquid and the slowest in solid. So let's take a look at here, gas, liquid, solid. So the movement of gas is faster than that in the liquid. Liquid is faster than that in solid. Okay, the reason for this is because motion of air particles is more rapid than that of liquid and liquid motion is uh, basically more rapid than that of solid. So basically solid vibrate around its, vibrate about its fixed position. So that's why it doesn't really diffuse that much. It takes around one to two years to see the effect of diffusion in two substances that are stick together. Okay, let's take a look at examples. Examples would be diffusion of perfume. Perfume is a good example of diffusion because perfume itself is a gas. When it is sprayed into the air, it is actually in gas as well. So this is a gas-gas movement. Diffusion of gas in air here, bromine gas here. Bromine gas, Br2, Br2 is a gas. Actually, it's a liquid at room temperature and pressure. You can actually heat it to get bromine gas. Okay, so despite bromine gas being denser than air, it can still diffuse. Okay, in other words, diffusion, diffusion is the only thing around here that defy gravity. That means even if you are heavier, you can float higher up than something that are not as heavy as you. Okay. Let's take a look at rate of diffusion here, rate of diffusion. The rate of diffusion depends on the mass of the molecules and also concentration gradient of the molecule. So what do you mean by mass of the molecule? If a molecule is huge, its mass is heavier than a molecule that is relatively smaller. So in that case, say I have two substances. This substance made up of bigger mass around here and this substance, they have smaller mass over here. I remove this cardboard. So the moment I remove this cardboard, I notice that diffusion of this smaller molecule to achieve equilibrium is faster than this. Okay, it is still on its way to achieve equilibrium. Okay, can? So, the heavier you are, the more slower you diffuse, okay? Just imagine a lorry, the movement of a lorry as compared to a motorbike, okay? Say you have a motorbike over here. They are at starting line and this is the traffic light. The moment the traffic light turn green, what happened? The motorbike will be while the lorry is slowly picking up speed. Okay, so you just imagine this. A lorry would have moved slower than a motorbike at the start of the green traffic light. Okay? Okay, next, let's take a look at concentration gradient. Here, concentration gradient refers to the difference in concentration. So what do you mean by gradient here?
when you learn maths, you would have learned about graph, right? You would have learned in graph about gradient. Gradient here, your y equals to mx plus c. m is gradient. So m is also this steepness over here. So let's imagine you have a high concentrated this region here has a lot of particles A, while this region here has very little particle A. So when you connect them, you have a gradient. So that's why we call it concentration gradient. Okay? The idea here is the same as the graph. Okay? There's a line, there's a steepness over here. So what happens if the concentration gradient is great? So we compare situation 1 with situation 2 here. Situation 2, the concentration gradient is not as huge as situation 1. There is still gradient, but very little. Okay. In situation 1, the diffusion, rate of diffusion will be higher than rate of diffusion here. Rate of diffusion here will be lower. Why? You can imagine if you put a ball here and you put a ball here, how fast will this roll down as compared to this? Of course, this will roll down faster than this, right? 